know, some say it's sheer madness to be working at 86 years old, but for an Overland Park business owner, the last 64 years have been kind of therapeutic for him. He's made lots of friends despite cutting them, and now he's retiring. Tell me about that sign. Well, it says Wayne's Barbershop, but that's his cover, like the CIA has a cover. And now Wayne Kozak's cover is blown. What's going on here? On the other side of this glass, people come in for marriage advice, financial advice. Okay. I'll take a little bit of hair. You don't have much to spare either, you know what? Mm -mm. And of course, the haircuts. It actually should be Wayne's philosophy and shrink shop. I was here one day and the customer came in and he said, are you next? And Wayne said, no, he's here just for therapy. After four years in the Marine Corps and two Purple Hearts. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't. I made two landings. I got shot in both of them. This corporal decided to join the family ranks. His dad, uncle, and cousins, they were all barbers. And on August the 2nd, 1952, he decided to be one too. That's almost 65 years. <laughs> I started on dollar haircuts here. And more than 200,000 haircuts. Wayne cut my hair for the first time down in that chair in 1958. E.J. Irish got the Ricky Nelson Butch haircut that day, back when his hair was darker and he, you know, well, had hair. A lot of people I've worked on 25, 30, and 40 years. And he's cut a lot of big names in that time. Presidential candidates even, like Senator Bob Dole, who promised Kozak he'd be the White House barber if he won. It worked out better that he didn't get in because I I wouldn't, I, would not want to, I wouldn't want to leave here. This is where my roots are. And I worked on some famous people, but the most famous person I've ever worked on is in the chair, and the next most famous is the guy waiting to get in the chair after the guy, after this guy or whoever gets out of the chair. Through all the buzz cuts, the high and tight trims, and pompadours, you see amazing. what the pomp and circumstance is about on this day, enough to bring his fellow Marines in to say goodbye. Mr. Wayne is actually a, a Marine from Korea. Uh, he served in the Frozen Chosen. Uh, for Marines, that is a hollow ground. And for Overland Park... I want to present you with the city, a key from the city, and thank you for being here for 65 years. Appreciate that. Thank you. This barbershop is hollow ground. Kozak's work and contribution is a cut above, which is why saying goodbye is kind of bittersweet. Uh, my bucket list is completed. I've, I've skydived. Uh, I jump with my, I jump with both my sons, 3,000 foot jumps. We bungee jumped, and uh, what the hell else do I do? Wrecked a couple cars, got shot a couple, <laughs> got shot a couple of times, and and still made it out to the other side. I, I, I see you when I see you. If only by a hair. <laughs> Wayne Kozak charged a dollar for his very first haircut. His last haircut today, he charged one dollar. As for the building, it has been purchased. It will now be a card and gift shop.